She was 10 days old when we were to her first pediatrician visit. And Dr. Noonan at the time looked at her belly a little bit and said she looked a little distended on one side. And we were filming, we were happy, it was a big joyous time. And my husband was with me and she said, I'm a little concerned she's a little distended on one side. Um, I'm just going to maybe burp her and see if that's what it is, and it wasn't, so then. So then she sent us to, uh, to go get an ultrasound, and that confirmed that she had a tumor in her abdomen and chest cavity. She was diagnosed at 10 days old. At 11 days old, we were in Albany Med. It was Friday the 13th, and uh, our fears were confirmed that it was neuroblastoma. It's a, it's a horrible cancer that affects uh, children. It was just really hard to know that in, in a day your life has just gone from this to this and it's a nightmare. She was little, uh, the littlest I believe at the time um, that that floor had ever handled um, and she was, I believe it was 17 days where she had her first chemotherapy. Um, the staff here at Albany Med was very, they were, they were kind of our only family. Dr. Porter was her main doctor at the time. She was very comforting and very, she explained everything so well. And kind of, you know, I don't want to say limited information, but she gave us what we needed. We were in the hospital for a long time after. It was a lot. We were in the hospital a lot, and these people do become your family. Especially nurses, they're just so caring, and they know, they know what's going on. There was a nurse, Janine Cantalupo, who is just an angel. Janine was just so comforting to my husband and I. And she took her on. She was her baby. She went through a series of chemo, um, chemo sessions and um, the tumor was growing and it grew into her spine. And um, the fingers of that started compressing her spinal cord. So Lauren um, is unfortunately paralyzed from the waist down, but that's really, um, she is, uh, she's cancer free and she's been cancer free since uh, roughly nine, ten months of age. I am a part of the Melodies of Christmas each year, and seeing those um, younger kids who are going through what I went through at a very young age um, is very heart-wrenching, and but very um, exciting for me to see that they're doing so well. I've been treated in numerous places, you know, especially Albany Med, and all the doctors and nurses are so dedicated, especially Janine. I want her to know that, what an impact she made on my life. She's, her dedication got me here. I do want to be a pediatric oncology nurse. I'm so proud of her, so proud. She's come so far, and she's done so well. I just want to say thank you to Albany Med and saving my life. I mean, they're the, they're the reason I'm here today, and I, I really, my dream is to work at Albany Med. They're making murals, miracles every day and uh, we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. She's here. <laughs> she's graduating and she's going to college, so it's, it's, it's a big deal.